Today's transformational slash inspirational story is dedicated to you, Lucinda. And before I go on guys, if you've worked out with Lucinda, I want you to post in the comments, go Lucinda, go L-U-C-I-N-D-A, go. Or if you get touched by this story and you want to continue to motivate and help Lucinda reach her goals, then I want you to still post that. Go Lucinda, go. Give the video a like and share it. Let's show Lucinda some love. Now Lucinda is an amazing, inspirational woman. First of all, she's in her late 60s. Most people when they get into their 60s aren't starting a workout program like we have at Fit Club. And to me, that's ultra inspirational. Now, I remember her first day because her daughters used to work out with us. And the daughters, you know, they're female, they're in their 40s, they're pretty much our typical like mold of what a client that comes into the, to the door and stays with us long term are. But Lucinda, I was a little bit hesitant because number one, there was a bit of a language barrier. Number two, she was in her late 60s. And number three, you're just worried because you don't want to create an injury. But I'll tell you this, Lucinda amazes me every single day. Lucinda listens to whatever we say. Sometimes she doesn't understand what's going on around her. And so she just looks and mirrors the other person. Now this actually became a problem one time because Lucinda was working out with somebody probably half her age. Now Lucinda started doing these sprints with this person and she kind of tweaked her hamstring. And I was a little bit worried about Lucinda because of the fact that when somebody gets injured, that's one of the biggest obstacles that people face is that they get injured and they feel like they can't give it their all or the injury overwhelms them. And then what ends up happening is that they end up quitting. But not Lucinda, she tweaked the hamstring, she talked to me, we worked her through the workout, she came back the very next day, she obviously wasn't sprinting, she was more hesitant on it, she let it mold. But honestly, today, if you work out with Lucinda, she'll outrun somebody that's in her 30s. So that hamstring turned into strength. Now. When she first approached me about doing the nutrition or the belly burn challenge, as you guys have seen, she said that she hasn't lost any weight since she's been in her 30s. She's tried every diet pill. She tried every workout DVD or video. She's tried every fad diet out there and she hasn't lost any weight. And again, it's not all about the weight, right? But in this case, Lucinda really wanted to lose even just 10 pounds. But today, after this last challenge, Lucinda messaged me the other day and I said, Lucinda, how much weight have you lost since starting? Because I see people every day, so I don't notice these changes, right? Like I see people working hard, I look at their form, I understand their mindset and everything else that's going in their life. But when it comes to like the body reshaping, when you see somebody every day, you don't see it as much. Lucinda lost over 30 pounds, 30 pounds. How many of you in your 30s and 40s and even 50s, and how about your 60s, hey, want to lose 30 pounds. And it's 30 pounds that she lost that her body didn't want to hold, but I guarantee you she's gained at least 20 pounds of muscle. So how did we help Lucinda drop the 30 pounds? Well, first we started her in the belly burn challenge. Now, when you join the belly burn challenge, you're going to get the all extensive package. But here's the thing is that you have to do the work. So we're going to point you in the right direction. We're going to equip you with all the right tools, but it's up to you to utilize them. And Lucinda took every word of advice that I gave to her and she took it and she did it. So what did we start with? We started with tracking her food. And she's like everybody else where we think that what we're eating is healthy, we think that we're eating in the right calories, and then we actually weigh food and then we put it in and we start tracking it. Then we realize, oh my gosh, I'm eating way too many carbs or I'm eating way too many calories. You didn't know that that tablespoon of peanut butter was that many calories and all these little things, they all add up. And so it started with her just tracking her food. The second thing that we did with her was she started ramping up her workouts. So we always have this thing where it's like 10,000 steps every single day, it's a non-negotiable. And one day I was about to do the virtual workout and I noticed that Lucinda always came in at 7.15, 7.20 and they would walk the halls. <laughs> so she was walking the halls with a bunch of other members and I'm like, why are you guys walking so much? Like walking is gonna help you to you know, drop a little bit of body fat. Yeah, it's movement and it's gonna look flashy that you got 15 to 17,000 steps. But I'm like, what we need is muscle. We need you to burn more active calories. So I challenged Lucinda to start doing the virtuals along with her regular class. And that's what Lucinda did. She started doing the virtual, which is more of a high intensity movement, faster pace, gets the heart rate up, burns a bunch of calories from a bunch of different muscles. And then she also combined that with her on the blue workout, which is 
a little bit more strength training, heavier weights, slower movement, so it's designed to focus on the muscle building. And she ramped up her workouts, and that's what I truly believed helped her to accelerate this last belly burn challenge. The first challenge that she did was all about the food. The second challenge was about creating a new standard for herself when it came to her workouts. And the last thing, and this is what I would tell everybody, is consistency. Lucinda was out in Portugal and she travels there quite a bit and she doesn't spend like a week or two or three. She's literally there for months. But she would check in with me every single week and she'd say, hey, RJ, uh, you know, what should my macros be or what should my calories be? Is this okay? And she would send me a screenshot of what she's doing. I'm like, wow, listen, to most people when they go on vacation or they travel abroad or whatever they do, they just let their diet go to waistline. They're just like, oh, I'll just start back when I get back. But not listen to, she stayed consistent even while she was gone to Portugal for a couple months. And then she came back, her metabolism was revved. All she needed was that extra little bit of push. So Lucinda, this transformational, inspirational story goes to you and my hopes is that somebody else sees this video and they get motivated whether you're half your age or whether they're your age, I believe that Lucinda, you're an inspirational person.